So guys, on this series we have, we have covered the entirety of normal school life. You're probably wondering what the hell am I doing in this shirt with the writing on it? Okay, we'll get to that, right? And we're going to cover the final, final days I went to school in this video. Okay, now this is the last but one video on my year 11 life. The next video is going to be the overall grade reveal, okay? I apologise by the way, this is the fourth my year 11 experience video in a row. Parts 10, 11, 12 and 13 and there will be a 14, okay, next. When this series is over though, it's over. They'll never have to see a My 11 Experience video again. But let's start the video. So we finished school properly on the 18th of May. I think it was roughly anyways, right? I think it was the 18th of May. It was just before July, right? And then you had your week off for your half term where everyone was home. Then the week after, we went in on the Tuesday to sit the final exam ever in secondary school. In part 10 or 11, I mentioned how the English assessment, I think it was 11, was the final GCSE exam. I wasn't lying, that was the final GCSE exam, right? The English one is a proper GCSE one, we, uh, you know, you, you've been studying it f since year 7, basically. Now, this other exam was to do with finance. It's a sort of GCSE, right? I'm not sure how they grade it, but it's completely different. Although I think it's the equivalent of a GCSE. So let me explain how it worked through the power of terrible animation. You arrive at school, you walk into said school. If you're me, you're the first one at school on that day. When everyone arrives, the, the teacher tells you how it works. So there are two papers for each module. You've got your A papers and your B papers, right? Your A's are your practice papers and your B's were the real thing. You were told to just fill in what you could on the A's, okay? You had about 10, 20 minutes to, to do that. Then we, we go through it. Right? The, this was the only point that you learned about it. You couldn't like you couldn't revise it as you, you didn't know what you, what you you know what you to what to do at all. Right? You wouldn't know how to uh, like how to revise for you didn't know what you were doing until the day. You learned you only learned it based on how well you could guess and how things were explained to you in those five minutes. After that, you, you did your B papers. You gave them to the person next to you. You got your grade, put them into your folder. You had four of each, so you had four A papers, four B papers, so eight booklets all together right, on, on that day. You only put your, your B papers into the folder though. Your A papers would, would just went in the bin after. At the start, they were out of 30. It was 30 marks, right? Now, how it worked was 15, was a C. Anything lower than 15 was a fail. Then each mar each three marks after th after 15 was a grade. So 15 for a C, 18 for a B, 21 for an A, 24 for an A star. In paper one, I got 23 out of 30, A. Paper two, I got 24 out of 30, A star. Paper three, I got 27 out of 30, A star. Then we stopped. We got our leavers hoodies, that was cool. I got a black extra large one, which is like a blanket over me. Everyone in year 11 is on it though. Like, everyone in, on, everyone in year 11 is on my back of the leavers hoodie, right? I don't know how, I don't even know most of the people on my back, right? We went back up and did paper four, which was out of 20 that time, oddly, okay? So 10 was a C, then it goes up in twos. So 12 is a B, 14 is an A, 16 is an A star. In that, I got a C, 10 out of 20 marks. It was really hard. For the most part, throughout the entire thing, I was just guessing. Oh, but yeah, yeah, guessing. I think most people were, though. I don't even remember anything in that exam apart from this. An ombudsman is someone that is in charge of a utility or a bank. Or to someone that's in charge of something, I think. I barely remember. So that's two A stars, an A and a C. We won't get our results until Friday the 18th of July, which at the time of writing and recording this is two days away. I predict an A for that, okay? That's amazing if that happens, you know, getting an A in GCSE guessing. Nice. Then we were told that we can just go home early, which I did. Very cool. I went home at one o'clock that day instead of the usual three... 2.55, 3 o'clock, right. Now I could make this video into two parts because looking into the corner 
it's about five minutes long, so no, I won't actually. Let's talk about the Leavers Party, okay? Now, this, this is probably going to be a huge video because this takes up the vast majority of the video. The Leavers Party was on the 11th of July. Most people wore their white shirts for, for people to draw on them. It was really fun, right? I spent the night before making a design for my shirt because I wanted to be creative and draw this picture of my back for a laugh, right? And well, it was one to be creative, two for a laugh, and three so people knew who I was, right? You walked into the school and you get directed to the, to the large hall. Now I talked to some people on our lunch table picture I, I showed in part 11 and 12, right? And we, we did each other's shirts. You might be able to read some of the things on it, depends, it's very creased. Right? But it, it was, it was great. It was odd. Right, because it just stand there frigid for people to decorate your shirt with their name, a drawing, <laughs> or a sentence. Right. I was smart that day and brought a long sleeve shirt. So there was a greater surface area. Because once you've covered the, the top of your back, like, you don't really want to go to the bottom of your back because it feels a bit awkward, right? In my opinion. I also talked to Megan and Merrin. Right? After about 20 minutes though of this, the assembly starts. Now the head gives a speech about year 11, then the form tutor gives a speech mentioning certain pupils from different forms for different reasons. My form tutor mentioned me at one point, right, basically saying how proud she was, and I mentioned my acting role out loud, because in order to do my acting role, I had to get permission from the school to, to miss a school day to do it. And that was great. I won't lie to you, I did love the publicity. Right. You can see that here if you want to. Now when the tutors had finished, we went outside for more shirt signing. At this point, you aimed to get the teachers. Right? You, you could get the teachers in the hall if you were quick enough, but um, most, of the, the, most of the teachers were outside. Now I managed to get my maths teacher, outstanding, a, a maths teacher, a drum teacher, media teacher, history teacher, Welsh back teacher and Welsh teacher, and my PE teacher, and my English teacher, as well as the head himself. It was an honour. Now the other teachers were probably teaching or something. I got most of them, just not science. Hmm. It makes you question why they, did, why they weren't out, but there we go. Anyways, then I went in the canteen and got some free food. My stomach loved it. The school were also doing a barbecue. Right? I wasn't just stealing food. I had two chicken burgers and fries. It was delicious. If the price of these things, right, beforehand, during, during the time I was in school, weren't so damn expensive, I would have got them. Right, they are delicious. But the price doesn't constitute me paying for it. Anyways, once I'd eaten a delicious barbecue feast, photos were due. Now, I can't show many as I have to ask permission from the people. That was for about 30 minutes of just photo taking. A large amount of us had a photo behind this large 2021 uh, light stand thing. We had party poppers, which I was very inexperienced with, and I released it too early. The entire canteen st stared at me, so, cheese guys! Pew! Oops. Right. For the photo, I was just holding an empty party popper. Now, after that, we pretty much just went home. Right, I, I had a lift home in the car for once, that was the first time in ages because I normally have to walk home. That was great. Uh, not before a pit outside the school though. Love you mum. Now up to date, those two events were the only times I had to go back into school. Right, after, after the last normal day. Now the, join me in part 14 where the culmination of my school life is revealed. I get my grades. It's going to be one hell of a video and an even greater stress on me on the day. Wish me luck. Okay. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. Have a good day. Don't forget to drink hot chocolate. Stay safe and goodbye. We've got most likely to win an Oscar. Most likely to be a film star most likely to be famous, and most likely to become Prime Minister. Nice. It's like Ronald Reagan, he was a, he was a, 
um, he was the president of America in he's a film actor, he won several awards, so I'm like Ronald Reagan, nice.